Hey everyone, I thought I would do a quick video while I was doing some housework today, um, getting ready to mop my floor. And I just recently learned about this mopping hack that I am in love with, it's awesome. So I thought I would share it with you. Now, up until recently, we have hardwood floors you're about to see. Up until recently, I was using, when we first moved into this house, um, I started using the Swiffer Wet Jet for hard for wood, it's like the purple labeled one. Um, you know, and you put the solution in the thing, you squirt the button, and then you have to have special pads for it and all this kind of stuff. And it was a little pricey, but this was my first time to have hardwood floors, so I didn't know really what you should or should not use on them, and I knew that was specially formulated for hardwood, so I just went with that. Just, they were so expensive. The pads, the solution, I mean, yes, it's great that it traps it in the pad and you can rip it off and toss it in the trash, but wouldn't mop water going down the drain be the same thing as far as getting rid of it? It's not like you're keeping your mop water, so. It did okay, it did an okay job of cleaning my floors. It would get the stuff off the floor, but I was not happy with the residue that it left on the floor. Like almost had like a whitish sort of like a sheen to them, almost like maybe a wax. And it probably has wax in it. I didn't even look at the ingredients, but it got to where my, my floors were really dull and it kind of had like a tacky, like a sticky tacky. And I am barefoot when I'm at home, if at all possible. I hate wearing shoes. So walking around barefooted, I got sick of it. So I was getting ready to do some housework. I've already swept the floor and then I run over it with the vacuum cleaner to get up anything that the broom might have left behind. And if you'll see, they don't really look that bad, right? The floors really don't look that bad. Now I've got the, um, the rug is rolled up so I can mop under the rug, sweep, vacuum and mop under the rug and those white things on the couch are the little um, rubber grippies that go under the rug. So I just set them up there. So yeah, they don't look that bad after sweeping and vacuuming. But I'm about to show you the mopping hack and then show you the water that comes out. You are not gonna believe your eyes. And it's great. You can reuse the mop head, this mop, um, throw it in the washer and there's no more buying all those extra pads and all that extra solution. It's more cost efficient. It does a better job. It doesn't leave a residue and the whole house smells amazing when you're done. So here's what we're going to do. While I was mop while I was sleeping and vacuuming, I have a pot of water going on the stove over there to come to an almost boil. You don't want to boil it, but it needs to be like right before it gets to a boil. Then I'm going to show you this O Cedar spin mop thingy. If I can find a link to it, I will put a link in the description. It was $30, I think is what I paid for it, which I was like $30 for a mop. But when all is said and done, I was paying more than $30 on the Swiffer refill pads and the refill solution like every two months. So $30 one time or like $10 for refill pads and I think it was like 12 for this solution twice I've paid for this mop and I love it so stay tuned I'm about to show you how it works okay you need two things Tide Pods or whatever laundry detergent pod that you like I got a deal on these with the coupon and the sale and like a liquid cleaner I use this Mr. Clean with the Febreze because I like the way it smells. You could use Pine Sol, you could use the Fabuloso, you could use, you know, whatever you like or whatever you get a good deal on. So here's how it works. So there's 42 in this one. So this is 42 mops, 42 times to mop my floor. So you're gonna get one of these, one Tide Pod, and the bucket. little bit of this. I don't measure it. Just a little splash. And then your water. Hot water. I don't know how much this is. Mm, probably about a gallon and a half.
No. The reason this works so great is because the laundry detergent is formulated to be like a degreaser, to strip residue, things like that. And then I add the Mr. Clean just simply for the scent of it. So, and it smells amazing already because it's the steam coming up is going all through the house and I love it. So this mop is awesome. You can take the little mop head off and toss it in your washer and then pop it back on. And then I think if you want to like a refill, I want to say they're like six or seven dollars. So I just put my mop in there and kind of like get it all mixed together. That Tide Pod should have dissolved by now. And I also like this because it has a spin thing. So there's no touching it. I don't have to burn my hands on the hot water because I'm wringing my mop out. I don't have to touch the dirty water. I just set it in there. And that's it. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse. You can watch me mop. Didn't figure you want to do it on like regular time so we'll put it on time lapse and it'll be faster and we'll see you in just a minute I'm hot. It is very hot in here. Please excuse my hair. This doesn't fit since I cut it short. This won't reach. But it is hot in here, you guys. Um, got my ceiling fan going. Not enough. Um, so that's how I do it. It's not a lot of work. It makes a big, big difference. And another thing I forgot to mention is it dries a whole lot faster than those Swiffers did or like a regular sponge mom. I started by the front door, worked my way through the living room, as you saw, through the kitchen, under the table, and through the kitchen. By the time I'm finished over there in the kitchen where you just saw me, this is dry. Look. The, dry, the floor is dry. Well, it's nice, but to the naked eye, it looks just like it did before. But I know there's like dog drool on the floor from where she eats right here drools after she drinks her water um the kids go out in the backyard the dog goes in the backyard to do her business and tracks in the house and like i said i go around barefoot that's just disgusting to me so the hot water makes me feel better the mr clean makes me feel better the tide pod makes me feel better it does a good job it saves us money and if you use a coupon while the Tide Pods or whatever pods you want to use are on the sale and then you put a coupon with them, you can get a whole bunch for probably the same amount of money or a little less than like a bottle of Mr. Clean or a bottle of Pine Sol. And we all know those Swiffer liquids are a whole lot more expensive than that. I don't mop often because I don't know how hot water affects the wood. Um, we did not install this flooring it was done before we moved here so I'm not exactly sure like if it was sealed or what have you but so far we haven't had any issues it does a lovely job so now I'm gonna dump the water out and let you see the dirty water and remember this is after I've swept and I vacuumed and you saw what it looked like before it didn't really look dirty it looked okay but let's see what this Tide and Mr. Clean and hot almost boiling water got up. Are you ready? It's gonna be gross. All right, are y'all ready? You ready to see how gross it is? I had to put away, I had some clean dishes over here draining on the draining mat. So I had to get them out of the way and put them up because I didn't want any like yucky water splashing on them. So the first thing I do is wring them off out. Set it 
This is so disgusting. I'm almost embarrassed to show you this, but know that this is life. This is life with two kids and a dog. It just is what it is. We do not have a showroom perfect model home house. We live in our house. Right, are you watching this? This is just gross. Ew. And then this mop bucket is really easy. I just spray it out with hot water. Make sure there's no residue. Okay. And then this, I'm not gonna rinse it because I'm gonna pop this off and go throw it in my washing machine. It's time to gather up my duster. The I have a dust mop also that I got from Dollar Tree um, that I can dust the floor like just really quickly. I have this mop head and a bunch of other things that I use to clean with and I just throw them all in the washer together on a really small load and wash them really good with like laundry sanitizer and vinegar and baking soda and all that good stuff. So now that I've got the floor all clean, now I make supper and I will probably mess it all back up. I'm about to make meatloaf for dinner tonight. So you want to see how I make meatloaf? I will film it for you really quick and that will be a separate video. But that's how I mop. I thought um, you might like it to try it. If you do try it, let me know and how you like it. I saw it, I think on Pinterest and I thought, well, I'm gonna try that. And then I was telling my sister about it. She's like, yeah, I have that mop and I do that too. That's amazing and it works great. So I'm like, well, why didn't you tell me? So I'm telling you, this is awesome. I highly recommend it. If I can find a link to this, um, mop bucket and mop i will stick it in the description below if you want to find it i got mine at walmart so you can find them anywhere walmart target probably lowe's home depot you know those kinds of places but amazon probably has them but i'll show you i'll try to get a link to it for you and that's all i've got for me this video hope you guys have a great rest of the day and happy cleaning bye yeah just finished mopping and now it's thundering and raining